Hi, Keith Cook here, Bayashi here. Uh, here to talk to you about a defensive sidekick, which was always one of my favorite weapons, and I'm starting to see it used more in MMA, and that's exciting to me because I think it adds another dimension because you, you see people in the stand-up a lot of times in a boxing stance or a Muay Thai stance, but you rarely see them this way. And I think it's, it, it gives you another look, but I love the fact that you can use it on a good puncher. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to, to you about today. This is another thing though to consider whenever you use a back kick, I feel like a back kick or a side kick or a hook kick. Anytime you're using one of those three things, you need to have an exit plan because your opponent is more than likely gonna be able to box before you can because you've turned away. So I have to first be able to turn back into a, a position that's safe before I can box. So I need some distance between me and them after the kick. So just keep that in mind. I always go in with a side kick, a back kick, or a hook kick with an exit plan. I have an exit plan already uh, that I know I'm gonna execute going in, okay? So anyway, here, here I am shoulder to shoulder with Bob. I like to use, a, I used to like to use a swinging bag on this because it works so well with your timing. I know a lot of people have standing bags like these the wave masters that, that have a, a firm base like Bob does, and they're not gonna move, which you have to compensate for that. You have to use your imagination and put that movement in. So in this case, I'm here, and I'm in that perfect protective sideways position. I like to call it the skinny side of a barn door. I'm not squared up. I might have been squared up punching, and I move defensively into this position, take a good step away, so I can fire, ha, fire that side kick back in with my heel. And I want to make sure I have enough distance so my hips, ha, can move into the target. My exit plan, ha, would be this to move away. Angle, I'm going to draw them in, draw them in, get off the tracks, fire my jab this way. A lot of times people try to follow you. They're already coming forward with a punch when you fire the side kick defensively. The, the, the important thing is distance. Getting the, you know, the, like if I'm in here and I'm kicking, I'm not gonna have any power. I'm not gonna be able to move my hips towards the target. Another thing for power besides getting the distance so you can move your hips into the kick is to have your body weight behind the kick. So if we don't want this, I'm gonna show you a good view. We don't want this. We want this, ha! Ah, that's gonna put my body weight behind the kick. When I shift my hips forward, that's gonna give me power. I like to, Emphasize the heel in this, almost like a stabbing, pop, with the heel, pop, that hurts, okay? So I want to get away, pop, bam, like this. Imagine a punch coming, pop, my head is back behind my shoulder, whoa, right there. And I want it to have that one, two, almost like a double jab, pop, pop, like that, pop, pop, like that. So I'm getting away from the punch, then firing the kick up the middle. Okay, so remember, side kicks, back kicks, always have an exit plan. That guy's going to be able to box before you are. All right. Thanks for listening. I hope that, I don't know, I hope that helps. All right. See you soon.